support. This latest Panku jailbreak is intended for iOS 9.0, 9.0.1, .0 and 9.0.2 and will function on the following. The iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6S, and iPhone 6S Plus, as well as the iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4, the fourth gen iPad, the iPad Air and iPad Air 2, the original iPad mini, the second gen iPad mini, third gen iPad mini, iPad Mini 4, as well as the 5th generation iPod Touch and the 6th generation iPod Touch. Alright, now this next part's very important. Currently, as of now, this jailbreak is exclusive to Windows. So if you have a Mac like I do, you can actually set up Windows inside of a virtual environment. I use Parallels. You can use a number of other tools to actually get a virtual machine set up. You can also use Bootcamp, which is native to OS X, or you can even borrow a friend's Windows PC. You're only going to need it for a short time. Now, there are a few very important things we have to get into before we actually proceed with this jailbreak. So if you updated to the version of iOS 9, your iOS device is currently on via the settings app, meaning you went inside of settings general and performed what's known as an OTA or over the air update, you're actually going to have to restore your device. So to do that, it's very simple. Just plug into your computer via a USB cable, launch iTunes, create a backup, restore inside of iTunes to iOS 9.0.2 jailbreak using the method I'm about to outline, and then restore from your backup to retrieve all of your data. You will have everything that you actually backed up on your iOS device once this process is complete. So I highly recommend doing it now if you updated via the settings app before you experience post OTA update issues with your device after Apple closes this jailbreak because we have no clue how long they'll actually leave iOS 9.0.2 as the latest public firmware. So it's absolutely paramount that you restore now if you need to. Now we also have to return to our device to disable three quick things inside of settings. So let's go ahead and launch up the settings app and then I want you to scroll down until you get to touch ID and passcode and then tap into that field and of course enter your passcode when prompted. And then once you're at the screen to manage your passcode, if you have a device with a Touch ID sensor, so anything from the iPhone 5S and up, you're actually going to have to disable all of it. So you need to toggle off everything related to Touch ID, and then you need to temporarily turn off your passcode as well. Now you can re-enable this after the jailbreak, but for it to properly function, you definitely need to disable this. Okay, so Touch ID and passcode are currently off. As you can see at the bottom, it just gives us the option to turn passcode on. That's because it's disabled right now. So we need to go back and then tap into general and then followed by auto lock. So you're going to scroll down a little bit until you find the auto lock setting and you're going to set it to never because we do not want our device locking during the jailbreak process or after once it's already complete and City is reorganizing the file system. So you can disable this for now again, just like with the passcode and touch ID, you can re-enable it after the jailbreak. And finally, we need to navigate to iCloud. So just scroll down until you see iCloud and then at the very bottom of the iCloud settings, you need to tap into find my iPhone or find my device. It will be dynamic based on which device you're actually intending to jailbreak. You need to toggle off find my device there at the top. So I'm going to do that really quick and enter my passcode. Okay, so it's turning off find my iPhone according to the pop-up here and now it's disabled. And it's important that we do it this way because Pangu will actually check that we're still signed into iCloud but that the find my device feature is turned off. And this is just because of the way the jailbreak's delivered. Don't worry, you can re-enable it post jailbreak. Okay, now that all of that's out of the way, still inside of the settings app, general about down below at the bottom, it confirms that that we are indeed running iOS 9.0.2, again, the latest public firmware as of recording this video, and this is indeed an iPhone 6S. We do have 3D touch, as you can see by pushing on the news icon harder there. We actually received a quick menu, same thing for the App Store. And flipping it over to the back, we do have the S indicator there. So again, this is definitely an iPhone 6S, Apple's latest iPhone. Okay, with all the prerequisites out of the way, you're going to need two things downloaded for this tutorial. The latest version of iTunes, which I already have installed. As you can see, we have a shortcut for it here, as well as the new version of Pangu for iOS 9 through 9.0.2. And I will have one link down below in the more info for you guys. It is a single post on Best Tech Info, my site, that not only contains download links, but also complete written instructions for those of you who, for whatever reason, may encounter complications. So definitely check out that post, because again, you will be able to download Pangu directly, the official version. 
Gen. Okay, now the time has actually come to plug into our computer via a standard USB cable. So go ahead and do that now. I actually have a pop-up here. This is just Parallels asking me whether I want to connect to my Mac or to Windows. Obviously, we want to connect to Windows because as of now, this jailbreak is exclusive to Windows. So I'm just going to click on the pop-up to again connect this iPhone to Windows. Now, as you can see here on the iPhone itself, it's asking us to trust this computer. This is very important. If this is the first time that you're connecting to your computer or to the specific computer you're using to jailbreak with your iOS device or the first time since it was last restored, you will receive this pop-up again asking you to trust the connection. So you need to tap on trust on your device and you also need to click continue inside of iTunes again to verify the connection on your computer. So just click continue and after the connection is recognized if you receive this message that says welcome to your new iPhone iPad or iPod you're just going to have to click on continue so I'm just clicking through these pop-ups here and I'm going to click on get started and now we're at the main section for our iPhone we can actually continue now because it has successfully recognized it so we're going to close out of iTunes and we're actually going to launch up Pangu for iOS 9 now so once it's downloaded and once that connection has been made between your computer and your iOS device, you're just going to launch up Pangu. And before we click start, you'll notice here inside of Pangu, I'm going to actually get a close up of that, that it confirms that this is indeed an iPhone 6S running iOS 9.0.2. iPhone 8,1 is the identifier for the iPhone 6S. And we're also going to enter airplane mode on our iOS device. This is also just to ensure that the jailbreak runs as smoothly as possible. So just bring up control center here and toggle on air airplane mode over on the far left. Again, make sure you are still plugged in and then hit start inside of Pangu. And it's basically just going to go over everything I've stated thus far and then just click on already backup and it will proceed with the jailbreak. So I'm actually going to refocus on the iPhone here and you'll notice that we already have a Pangu app on our device. We also have a WWDC app. That's pretty interesting. That's the first time I've seen that delivered through a jailbreak and we're cruising along inside of Pangu past 40% now. It's just stating that we don't have our SIM card installed. I can tap on OK to that and you might see a restore in progress screen briefly. If you do, that's completely fine. Don't worry, you're not going to lose any data. That's just how the jailbreak payload is delivered. So we're continuing on here through 60% and of course it is at the Apple logo right now. Okay, so now we're at the lock screen. I'm going to slide to unlock and we're going to swipe over and I'm just getting an Apple ID password verification pop-up. Don't worry, that's fine. That's just part of iOS. You may or you may not receive that depending on the last time you actually put your password into the settings app for iCloud. So bringing my iPhone back over here after the unlock, it's telling us to enter airplane mode again. So let's just go ahead and toggle on airplane mode inside of control center and it's continuing there. As you can see, we're moving along nicely now past 70% and let's just go ahead and continue here with what it says. It says to launch up the Pangu app so let's go ahead and tap onto it and now it's telling us that we need to allow access to our camera roll. So we're going to do that really quick. This is pretty unique. This is probably because of iOS 9's new security measures. So don't interact with your device unless it tells you to inside of the Pangu UI on your computer. So just let it do its thing after you allow access to the camera roll on your device itself. Do not touch it and do not interface with it whatsoever and just leave it plugged in. Okay, so as you can see, it's finished now. It's rebooting. We're just going to go ahead and wait for that. Pangu says that the jailbreak has finished successfully. So again, we're at the Apple logo now. Let's wait until it appears at the lock screen. Okay, so the iPhone's about to come up. It actually says that it's already jailbroken inside of Pangu. We can go ahead and unplug it now. And I'm also going to close out of iTunes and we're going to slide to unlock. And we're also going to swipe over here and turn off airplane mode and make sure that you do have an active data connection. So I am connected to my Wi-Fi network now and we're going to launch Cydia. That is important that you do disable airplane mode after the jailbreak has finished. 
And whoa, Cydia just finished preparing the file system. That was amazing. I didn't even get into how this process can sometimes take a while. So this is great stuff, guys. We now have Cydia on iOS 9, 9.0.2 to be specific. And once it finishes loading, I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom to show you guys that this is indeed the latest version of Cydia. And it confirms that this is the new iPhone on the latest firmware. All right, so getting a close-up of this, Cydia confirms down below at the bottom that this is an iPhone 8,1, again, an iPhone 6S, running iOS 9.0.2 with Cydia 1.1.24, and we're just going to go to the Changes tab here. As you can see, these are all of the packages that it's pulling just from the Big Boss repository, as well as some of the other defaults here. So I'm actually just going to try to install Activator really quick. Now, it's confirmed that Activator has not yet been updated to support iOS 9 as of recording this this jailbreak tutorial, but I'm just going to go through the install process anyway, just to show you guys that we can install packages directly from Cydia. All right, tapping to respring. Once it's back up, you'll notice that we actually get this system to new error. That is expected because again, activator has not yet been updated, but at least it did install and we do have the activator icon. So more proof that this jailbreak is functioning as expected. All right, guys. So before we get into the giveaway instructions, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you didn't, if you found it useful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. It's awesome, guys, and every jailbreak Pango has released has proven to be incredibly stable. So I have no doubt that you'll be happy with your new iOS 9 jailbreak. All right, guys, and now on to the iPhone 6S giveaway, which is concluding soon toward the end of this month, actually before the fourth generation Apple TV is released. So be sure to get your entries in now. Just navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari and sign up. It's very simple. And once you do that, download one of the sponsored applications that appears in the main section or more, just ensure that you earn points. And once you do that, you can actually go to the fourth tab down below at the bottom and you see that link there. I want you to take the unique portion. So what appears after the equal symbol and post it in the comment section of this video here. Once you do that, you'll be automatically entered and you can actually even use the points that you accumulate to redeem some awesome prizes, including gift cards and paid apps from Apple's app store. Okay.